Hello and welcome. Today I'm preparing some potato cakes, potato patties, tortita de papa, and the wonderful thing about this dish is that it's super versatile for breakfast, lunch, or dinner so your fillings can accommodate your mood. What I mean by that is that you can choose whatever protein you like to really satisfy your flavor palette. Did I say that right? You guys know I'm always tongue twisted, but uh, today I'm gonna be filling these with cheese and pepperoni, cause you guys know my kids have been such sweethearts. We're in a good little groove right now. So I'm gonna add some pepperoni to their meals. And what I'm using today is I'm gonna be using uh, turkey pepperoni. So I'm chopping these pepperonis finely, just so that when my kids bite into it, they're not biting in and pulling on uh, pepperoni or if you're using like shredded chicken. And the ground beef is pretty easy, it's ground beef. So just a quick little chop, and we're set. Let me see if I can fit it, guys. You guys know I always pick the smallest little <laughs> things. And this recipe is very versatile as far as the amounts that I'm using here, but I'll give you guys an estimated amount in the description area where you can find the full details for the recipe so you can screenshot it, print it out, make it comfortable for your home friends. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut our potatoes into smaller pieces that way when we boil it it boils quickly you don't have to wait around that long and you can use any potatoes that you have russet potatoes Yukon gold are these nice red potatoes that I have so I'm just gonna go, uh, go ahead and uh, cut all the potatoes and there is no uniform you guys already know my cooking I have a lot of things to do with my kids and my household and keep it clean, so. You cut them about the same size so they can cook the same, or just I just it? I just go for it. I give it a quick chop. I haven't seen much of a difference from size, and yeah. um, I'm feeding my family, so they're very forgiving if it's not perfect. <laughs> they shouldn't be the papa. <laughs> really, they shouldn't, I mean. I know you guys aren't watching me because I'm a pro at cutting. <laughs> Chopping, cutting, slicing. Cutting, slice. You're good at slicing. Well, you know, you guys ask me a lot about the knives. Make sure you look at the Amazon storefront because that's where I link most of the things that I do find that's available for you guys. Um, but I really like this knife because I am getting older and I do notice I have like arthritis in my hands. And this knife is sharp and very light. Because I have a few other knives that I use that are super heavy. Mm -hmm. Of course, not my, not my ninja one. <laughs> yeah, that one. My that's taqueria one. Handle, right? That one. It, it's yeah, wood. It's, it's wood. It's really light. The blade is uh, light, and it chops everything I need. Nice. I mean, you guys saw how I went through that fish. All right. So I'm gonna strain this water and I'll meet you guys at my stove so that we can go ahead and start boiling these potatoes. To your pot of boiling water, you wanna add some salt. And I would say start with about half a, a teaspoon of salt, um, just so that we can start the flavor process for our potatoes, because you don't want them to be bland. And what about for that back pot you got going on there? Girl, that's some kimchi <laughs> soup, whatever's left over. And once I boil that, you know the Ooh. second day it's even better. Yes, can't wait. <laughs> So go ahead and add your potatoes. And they're gonna cook pretty quickly, okay? So we're gonna cook them about 10, 15 minutes. Um, all you wanna do is about 10 minutes, try to put a fork in it, and if it goes through, that means you're ready, just take them out, okay? So I'll see you guys when these are all done so that we can start preparing our delicious potato patties. Next, we're gonna mash these potatoes up. You ready? I'm ready. Oh yeah, woo! Okay, I've drained my potatoes, and now we're ready to mash them up. So, go to town. You can mash them on your pan, but I think it's just easier for us in our setup on how I teach you how to do things to do it here. But at home, just do it in your pan and mash it up, okay? It's gonna take me a little bit longer, but. She's doing the monster mash. Yeah, but you guys are Damn. worth, you guys are worth it. <laughs> Baby, you're worth it. Damn, what song is that? Oh my goodness, well, why can't I think of it? Kill me. All right, forget this. I'm gonna go mash it on my pan and I'll see you guys shortly. Okay. Bring your pan, bring your pan. 
mash your potatoes in your pan. <laughs> Whoa. You don't want the potatoes to be too mushy because then you're going to end up with way too much junk to fry. Do you like this potato masher than the traditional one? I honestly, I like the other one. Oh, okay. I like this one for other things actually. Mm -hmm. But my other one's too bootleg and I don't feel like dealing with some judgment today. <laughs> <laughs> That's honest truth. Those are the best it's already, tools. Yeah, it's already really old and, you know, Aww. I keep it hidden behind the scenes. Bring them out. Bring them out. We no, see them. no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. You guys know you have that one item in your kitchen where you're just embarrassed. Yes, girl. No matter. My, that was my ex-husband for me. <laughs> Girl. Que hombre. No te aguantas. He's got a good, he's lighthearted. If he heard that, he would laugh. Probably. <laughs> you guys did really get along and laugh a lot. Yeah. But all those good things come to an end. It's important, right, to grow? Yeah, I enjoyed it while I was in the, in the marriage. It was fine. I don't know, that guy from the corn at the fair might be looking for you. Holler at me. <laughs> <laughs> you have those strong working hands, you know? Yes. I don't know. I'm not about those little frail hands. All right. I think we can have a good mash. <laughs> like manicured hands? Manicured hands? Like 90 Day Fiance, dude? <laughs> he had a yeah. on girls. Like, you go, you go, girl. Girl, he had that gel overlay. I'm like, you're pushing it. Yeah. Don't do that. He seemed happy though, so I was like, okay, I can dig this and if you're happy, but I'm not having manicured hands touch me. Hey, I'm human. I don't, <laughs> I'm human and I'm very vintagey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the only one that's gonna have polished hands, it's gonna be me. And actually, because of all the learning I've done with nail polishes, I don't even polish my nails. Really? Yeah, it's very rare. I have some uh, nail polishes you can use that are non-toxic and all that good stuff. Well, I did end up getting rid of all my nail polishes, like yeah. my naughty ones, and I have nothing but the good ones now. But you're always in the kitchen, so that makes sense, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I can't have my nail polish getting into my food with my kids, yeah. you know? But you keep them um, trimmed and pretty. Yeah, I can't. It's like the older I get, the less I don't like. I like seeing long nails on all the other lovely ladies. Yes. And like all the bedazzled and gems and all the fun stuff they do but I just can't do it we used to get our nails done all the time right yeah girl that was my thing but I spend that money on other things like food yep <laughs> okay so once you've done that go ahead and add your uh, seasoning blend what I have here is it gonna be in the description area <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm not wasting your time right here guys you guys seem to be liking this a lot better Mm-hmm. Are you gonna give us the Mandela effect with this recipe? No, no, guys. No, I had a little bit of an accident. Tim, you caught it. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. <laughs> Shout out to Tim. Uh, but yeah, I had a little bit of an error and I had to re-upload and I'm just glad that you guys were able to find the recipe useful. Everything's not easy. I don't think uh, the Views Club knows this, but you actually edit all of your videos. Yes, I'm the editor of my videos. I choose the music and... Yep. <laughs> I, I really enjoy editing. I'm just the camera lady. Girl, when Chrissy, I offered to help, but <laughs> when Chrissy Teigen was saying that she didn't even know where to begin with her 90 day fiance thing she was gonna do with her mom, I was like, I'll do it. <laughs> oh my God, she's such a gem. She is. She's so wonderful. It's one of the best things that I love seeing women grow up and to see them as mothers. It's it's just a complete transformation. I love seeing women embrace motherhood because there's good bad and ugly and I know I make it look easy mm -hmm. but you guys know it's work she makes defending herself look easy I love that about her it's not easy what she stands up for she's great you know internally I have a Chrissy Teigen like <laughs> I tame it a lot yes 
because I don't like to offend people. Uh, but I do have like my views. I mean, it is views on the road, not just because I want your views. Um, I appreciate those, but it goes a little bit deeper. Ladies and gentlemen, channel your Christy Teigen today in the kitchen and out the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the seasoning, you're going to see that I used onion powder and I didn't chop up fresh onion in here. You don't want any of the extra moisture in your potatoes when you're frying them because you want them to be super crispy and delicious. That's how it's going to work. So I'm going to recommend you guys use your favorite cheese. Uh, if you have teenagers, go ahead and give them the stretchy one. They can handle it. But the little ones, they don't need to bite into it and get burned, you know, and get hurt. So I'm going to use a Mexican cheese blend. Okay. You're so thoughtful. But when the boys are teenagers, I'm going to be like, you're going to get the gooey cheese. You're going to burn your mouth for mouthing off to me when you were like seven. <laughs> That's crazy that you know how to adjust that for them because I would just give them regular cheese even at that age. But I would wait for it to cool down a little bit. Um, but your kids eat piping hot food. They're selective about the piping hot food. Like Korean, Korean food, they can handle like crazy amount of spices and they've gotten, they're slowly getting better at the Mexican style spice. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be giving them Peruvian spice because that's wild. Oh my gosh, Peruvian That is, is on so a whole nother level. We, we had such a good uh, Peruvian food date. Yes, we yeah, did. It was amazing. I mean, if you guys are on Instagram, you guys saw a little bit of that. Because we had been talking about it since we saw Mark Wings uh, eat in Peru. Mm -hmm. And you guys know, that makes you hungry. Del maestro, Mark Wings. Uh -huh. And I mean, and it's, it's kind of cool because I can see it and then I can make it. Mm -hmm. All right, so once you're done mixing all your ingredients, we're going to start forming our little patties, okay? Let me Ooh. clear out a little bit. Put our space nice so you guys can focus and give it a taste. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab some of your potato. And if you get a little um, measuring cup, it's a little bit easier to scoop it out and form it into a little patty. And you wanna make the patties as big as your family will enjoy them. I think I can go a little more. So monster size. Yeah. These are done a lot um, the day after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just that depending on the mashed potatoes you get, that's the, that's what you have to work with. Because too much moisture with these tends to be a little bit mm. Oh, so you can use the mashed potatoes from Thanksgiving dinner? Is that what you're yep. saying? Oh, okay. So you're just going to form your patty like this, as thick as you want. And if you mash it and you don't like to bite into your potato, the freshness, um, you can mash it a little bit more to make them like really uh, mashed potato-y. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dip it in the egg. Just a quick dip. And to my seasoning, I noticed that certain panko crumbs tend to be a little bland, mm -hmm. so I added some uh, chicken bouillon to it. Just a little sprinkle, like if it was gonna be salt, just Ooh, for an additional idea. flavor. Okay? That gives it a pretty color. Yeah, if you guys don't have panko crumbs, um, I grew up not using panko crumbs, we used breadcrumbs, but you're gonna notice that your oil, it's not gonna last you a long time. Wait, we also use the, the cornflakes. The cornflakes, yeah. <laughs> what do you call it, the cereal? Uh-huh. That was my mother's favorite cereal, guys. High five with that hat. <laughs> all right, so just make sure you coat all your little uh, potato cake, and then Ooh. set it to the side, right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to make these, and I'll see you when we're ready to fry. You know we like to talk. We're going to make one more with you. <laughs> okay, so mash it up. I'm excited to hear what you guys want to do this with. You can do it with bacon and little green onions in here. Ooh, I like the green onion idea. See, squeeze it in there. Nice, compact. Could you add, like, cheese and broccoli, or do you think that broccoli would be too... Um, I think that if you... Uh, if you soak your broccoli, like maybe about five minutes in some boiling water, take it out, drain it, and then chop it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then dab it with a little bit of a paper towel. Because the thing is that 
You don't want so much moisture in here because okay. you're going to get a crispier potato. When the ingredients are dry? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Imagine if we would have had a pog like this when we were younger. We would have won all the games. That's right. If you guys are old like me, you know what pogs are. And if you don't, look it up. I know you guys think I have that fresh personality, but I'm really old. Using on the road, giving us homework. Today. Yeah. You guys don't know what I do to my sister to embarrass her, like if we're out in public. <laughs> I'll say something like, views on the road, everybody, and she just turns a shade of red that I have never ever witnessed. <laughs> I get <human>. so shy. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, quiet, close. <laughs> <laughs> or when you get loud, I'm like, you're being loud, everybody could hear you. <laughs> and me, I'm like, I only have one control panel in my uh, voice box, and that's loud. Well, if you guys really like mine and Klaus' shenanigans, because it seems to be the topic of conversation here, make sure you guys join our sister channel. It's called Las Donas, which means like the owners, the uh, misses type scenario, and that just means that you, you own it, okay? It's, it's an like upgrade the, from Senora. Yeah, it is. It really, it really is. is. I mean, not, there's nothing wrong with being a señora, but no, it, girl. Like, la doña, these are. These I are, know a gran señora, okay, yes. and she was a fellow cancerian, and I adored her. Yes. May she rest in peace. You'll get um, somebody will call you. Ustedes son doñas or eres una doña. It's like a, someone has to give you that name in a way. Yes. We've already been given that name, so we graciously. Girl, I it. was born with that name. <laughs> I'm just saying. I've been bossing it up since I was born. But you wouldn't get that because I'm kind of. Quiet in a way, mm -hmm. reserved. I'm all about not hurting people's feelings. That's good. Now, if you come for me, I'll hurt your feelings and you don't want my sharp tongue. Well, everybody has to defend themselves in some way. And yeah. But you know, that's a thing. Like sometimes when um, you show like your bite, like your roar, you know, mm -hmm. like then people are like, she's not as nice as she seems. No, I really am, but I'm human. I know how to protect and defend myself. Yep. All right, one more dip. There you go. How long has it been since you turned on the radio in your car or like in general? Do you ever listen to the radio? I do. But the DJ we have in town is so annoying because on the weekends... <laughs> Don't say his name, I'm bro. not going to say his name, but he was at the Bad Bunny concert. And let me tell you this guy. He plays only, like, the um, the hooks of, like, the reggaeton and Spanish songs. And, like, it irritates me because I want to hear the whole song. I want to jam out, and I can't. Yeah, we were at the concert, and we were in the middle of dancing, and then he switches it. And then he has to change your dance moves, and then he switches it again. And there's just constant chaos. We need we need uh, other kind of DJs here. And then he starts. What did he do? He started yelling at the ladies in the in the audience. He's like, "Hey, you in the back, give me a beer later. I'll take off my jersey." I was like, "Okay." Then but that's he how he engaged his crowd. But I wasn't I wasn't fangirling over his DJ skills. It was insane. DJ, eh? I guess I was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> DJ Potato Cakes. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna bore you with this step. You guys learned it, and if you didn't, you're gonna have to rewind or fast forward me, which I know that some of you guys just watch to fast forward and see the nonsense that comes out of my mouth. Don't call them out. I'm not, because I love you guys. The fun part is if you come the ones that fast forward, they um, they say it in the comments. Well, here's the thing. You, you, you know how like now you have on YouTube that you can scroll and see what's going on and people don't click in, you guys enjoy reading it? Shout out to you guys for reading, but I don't know. I was watching, um, what is it, uh, Nikki tutorials, and I was scrolling through the thing, and before I went in there, it started playing like the little, um, the subtitles. Girl, the first word that came out on there, I was shook that it would even translate it to it, because Nikki tutorials would never use that word. Well, you should look at your Nopales video in your subtitles. Is it bad? <laughs> you guys need to tell me when they're bad, so I can tell YouTube, hey, you know, you're translating wrong. One of the great things about these little patties is that you can make them, freeze them, easy dinner. Because you can bake them, yes, and you can air fry them. Woohoo! Woohoo! United States Air Force, what's up? So, you guys asked me a lot about meal prepping. 
prep your favorite protein so that you can use it and make it for quick dishes throughout your week. Great tip. That's the best tip that I have because I don't do meal trip. Meal trip, apparently. <laughs> I don't do meal prep because I, I get- meal tripping yesterday. <laughs> girl, because I don't like to eat the same thing all the time unless it's Korean food. Or and tacos. Food. And tacos. Yeah. But and if Thai I Thai food and Vietnamese, oh, here, here we go. We're gonna be here all day. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Uh, Muñeca called me out on the enchiladas uh, verdes. Yeah. Because she's like, didn't you already do this? And I'm like, no, I didn't. You know? I was like, it looks familiar. And I even said it in the video. Um, but it's different. And I'm not gonna bore you guys putting the same thing all the time. But I will change up like the recipe if I see that it's something different that I don't see often that you guys would find useful. Um, then I'll go ahead and share it with you guys. Like tortillas, I have endless tortilla recipes for you. Mm -hmm. I think right now, um, not working on one, but I do have one on the list that I'm going to have for you guys. We eat a lot of tortillas in this family. That's a staple. It's a must and they're amazing. Here's the thing. Nobody gets bored with eating traditional Mexican food, but I do get bored cooking the same thing over and over. So it has to be different almost every time for me. That's right. And I think most housewives, we feel that way. We're like, oh, we got to make chicken and rice again. <laughs> you know, I know some house dads that feel the same way too. House dads. Yes. What do you mean? Like dads that stay at home and take care of the kids. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. I love non-toxic men. Me too. Shout hey, out to someone you. has to raise these kids there. I, I, you know what? Especially with the world, how it's been for over a hundred years. Um, somebody does need to stay home. Yep. So maybe you guys do split it up, right? Mm -hmm. uh, one person works two years, another person works two years. Yeah. Unless you guys like your rules. Seems like kindergarten is a good time to get back to work, huh? Yeah. The second half of kindergarten, because that first half, they're still trying to get used to being away from their parents and they get into some trouble at school, man. Kindergartners are crazy. Yeah. Well, here on YouTube, I didn't start off that way, but now mm -hmm. that I make a revenue and I get to bring more wonderful things to the channel, how am I not gonna upload for you guys every day? I cook every day and I enjoy cooking. Um, I love how social you guys have made me. <laughs> I wasn't always like that. We have a lot of fun, even in the like in between time of recording. It's really fun in here. There's times when I'm editing that I'm just like, oh Lord, did I just say that? <laughs> or when I don't say thank you to you, it's because I'm in the zone cooking. That's the best. Yeah. Well, it turns out that this is what happens on our channel. I'm going to keep you here for two and then I keep you here the whole time because, you know, it helps a lot of people when you put more details. Yep. You already know how to do this, fast you, forward. Yep, and if you guys find these recipes too long and you don't like the style, I don't mean to be rude, but there's other channels that will fast forward you within two minutes, give you the whole recipe. There's channels that give you the recipe in three minutes and then you go do it and you're like, um, what happened? <laughs> well, I really enjoy it because I get the new, like, new moms, new housewives, or new gentlemen that are cooking for their partners and stuff Aww. like that. And if you guys find my recipes helpful, I get happy. Girl, we have a teenager on the channel that cooks for their parents when they get home. That's, Isn't that awesome? I I like that. That's I, my kind I, I of like team. that Views Club Junior. Yeah. Okay. Just make sure you're packing it in nice and tight so it doesn't fall apart on you. Because the other thing you can do so it doesn't fall apart is you can add some egg to it, but just didn't feel like it today. <laughs> oh, inside the batter, the uh -huh. potato batter? Yeah, it'll okay. stay It'll stay stuck a little bit more. They look really nice. What are you talking about, girl? They're staying just perfectly Yeah, but nice. if you guys have a difficult time, mm -hmm. like you can crack an uh, egg in here and get it done. One time in culinary school, when I was in high school, my partner, the teacher had said, all right, go ahead and put your egg in, in your batter. Mm -hmm. This fool ends up putting the entire oh. egg without cracking it in the batter. Cloud. And I was like, what are you doing? He's like, the teacher said to put the egg in here. And I was like, boy, get out of the way. <laughs> get out of my way. From now on, you're just going to be taking notes and that's it. <laughs> well, one of the things that I'm noticing about our views club is that they are not too crazy about fish. Oh, really? Like fish recipes? Yeah, because I the views that I see are like, okay, this is what they like right? Mm -hmm. What everybody likes and wants to see more of. Um, and that's kind of how I base it. It's not so much about like, oh my goodness, I got so many views on this one, mm -hmm. which shout out to you guys for bringing that um, elote lasagna. <laughs> that thing did so good. Um, so I'm guessing you guys liked it or we're curious, right? That's how it works. Curiosity. But I'm noticing you guys don't like fish. All right. So no more fish recipes for a while. 
for a long time like if you see like the past month i put like three or so what about the peruvian ceviche that you were gonna make girl no? i'm not gonna i'm not i don't think i'm gonna make it because mm. nobody likes the oh man that yeah. recipe is really good too yeah it is i guess you can make it for me i'll make it for you yep all right friends i'm almost done here so i'm gonna finish up and then uh wash my hands and go from there i currently have my canola oil on a medium heat so now we're gonna go ahead and check it so you need to get a wooden spoon, a wooden chopstick, save it just for this purpose. And you don't want to use plastic, you don't want to use metal, okay? So if it bubbles up on the outsides of your spoon, you're ready to fry. And if you have a thermometer, then you don't need this step, but it's pretty quick. That's how I preserve my oil, because I know a lot of people throw flour on it, but then mm -hmm. the flour tends to burn your oil. Oh, okay. So I try to do it. Before I fry them, I just make sure to go like this a little bit, back and forth. Tortear. How would you say this? Girl, there is no literal translation. For there isn't, yeah. okay? So just go like this to make sure that you have any of the extra pinkles. Um, patty cake it. Patty cake it. That's the word. Patty cake it. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and place this. And you want to place it down to where your oil, if it splashes, it splashes that way. But you want to be very careful, okay? Woo! Just like that. You already know. I'm gonna skim it, skim it. Finish it in the comments. You guys have been coming up with some great tunes. Okay. All right, same concept here. There we go. If you watched the fish video yesterday, friends, um, just know I didn't say an exact time because everybody, some people like their fish a little bit juicier. Some of them like it a little bit um, like crispy on the outside and really well cooked, which I'm one of those people. But I think between 10 and 15 minutes, you should be okay. Once you see the uh, color and the texture that you're looking for, that'll be a quick and easy one for you. There we go. So you're good about fitting uh, four of these here. Okay, so be careful. Get your kitchen scissor hands. <laughs> you should be good there. Ooh, so pretty. Yeah, and everything's already cooked. All you're doing is warming everything up. I'm looking for the golden color, right? Mm-hmm. It's so pretty. Yeah. Just like a desert sunset. Mm -hmm. Nice and golden and bright. Oh, romantic. Apparently, I got an accent all of a sudden, guys. You, you know how to get to my to my heart. Mm -hmm. If you guys really love this edition of the potato cakes, let me know in the comments so that I can hook you up with a few combinations that'll blow your mind. I have that song stuck in my head, girl. <laughs> oh. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm dramatic. You're dramatic and I'm extra. Girl, you are so extra. Yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> you know, I'm so lucky to have you as a sister because I would be bored in my life without you. <laughs> I really would. I feel the exact same way about you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you find that partner that just gets you, like, you're my person, girl. Because it could be trouble or it could be good for you. Find yeah. the ones that are good for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you always want to hang out with people that bring out your good vibrations. That don't make you feel, like, horrible, you know? Yep. You know, I really love this channel because I get to learn more about people. And the more I learn about people, the more accepted and open-minded I am about a lot of things. Because for the most part, mm -hmm. I respect everybody, right? Yeah, you do. So, like, when you guys share all your... Um, your life with me, I don't feel so alone. It's not one ended for me whenever I'm here on the show. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, nice, nice. See, so it's going to be up to you. If you're making these for the first time, definitely add an egg. But if you have more of an experience with these kind of uh, treats, um, then definitely you don't need it. Just as long as your potatoes were done well and you don't have too much moisture, um, you're going to get a good fry and they're going to stick together. The word of the day is moisture. Moisture. Brought to you by the letter M. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> You're so cute, Cloud. <laughs> Bro, I love Sesame Street. <laughs> da, na, na, mm -hmm. na, na. Shout out to all our views, Club Junior. I love Sesame Street. Woo. Yes. You know, I'm missing the part of my kids watching certain cartoons because I love cartoons. Yes. And like now they're wanting to watch like Camp Kiki Waka. <laughs> <laughs> It just changes it up. You know it's not called Camp Kiki Waka. It's called it, Bunk. Bunk, but I, I call it Camp Kiki Waka. <laughs> I'm such an embarrassing mom. I'm embarrassing because they corrected me in the car when we oh, went to Big Bear. They're like, Nemo, it is not <laughs> Camp Kiki Waka. Well, apparently Bayo's like the super fan that he thinks he knows everything about Camp Kiki Waka. So he's always trying to correct his brother. And I'm like, boy, calm down. Yeah, girl, he corrected me. You know, whenever I had his uh, birth chart read, by a lady she told me she's like um get ready for this one he's like this little guy can run his own country based on his chart that's crazy i had told you that when he was like two yeah when you said that to me you're like he's gonna be a president <laughs> or things that i'm like okay <laughs> he's organized and determined enough to get things done i think of bio whenever i don't want to do something i actually do think of him because there's nothing that you put in front of him that he will not do. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's he's like limitless. He will get it done no matter what. Like at his own, his own terms or his own way, but he gets it done no matter what. Yeah, I'm proud of him. Yep. I think that since he's been working really hard since he was born, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like with therapies and like speech and all these other things that it's just instilled in him that he's going to work hard and get it done. Yep. And he's got a lot of energy. Yeah, he does. He is. That's my early bird. He is the reason I wake up every morning with a smile on my face and also with bags under my eyes. He's the reason for my crows. He'll grow up in a farm. For my he's, crows, okay? <laughs> yeah, he, he's up with a gallo in the morning. Like, yeah, he, is he really is. Early. Yep, and then if he has something special going on the next day, he'll be like, okay, I'm going to get up. He gets up early at the time he says without even having an alarm. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. That really is. Ooh. You know, I used to be like that, and now it's kind of like I get up whenever I feel like getting up, or if I have an, uh, like a work appointment or something's going on. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you're patient with this part, because you want to make sure to crisp up the sides. Like you see here, what I was checking, um, that little part, I don't know if you want to, right there, I want to make sure that I get that fried. So if oh, I have okay. to get the little, once it's fried up, I have to turn it over, I will. Mm -hmm. I need those little sides fried, these little top ones. Mm -hmm. That one needs a little more. And I currently put my heat on a medium low because my burner is industrial grade. Um, I do use a monogram. Uh, my husband's bougie like that. <laughs> um, but on your guys' end, just adjust your uh, temperature to where you're getting a good fry and you're not burning them as soon as they come on here. So it's going to take a little time to warm up the inside and the outside and crisp it up. So I have it currently, I started it with the medium heat and then I slowly turn it down to medium low. So you got to know your temperament for your stove, okay? And your pan, your pan makes a huge difference, too, yeah. right? Well, that's that's why I like uh, using cast iron. A lot of people think that with your cast iron, you're just always going to have a crazy amount of heat. It's kind of like the comal when you make tortillas, where you have to adjust your temperature to the pan mm -hmm. and kind of look at it and see what's going on. So okay. yeah. No, I'm not mad at you that you have our grandmother's comal. Really? <laughs> I'm going to write in my will. I am not mad at my sister. <laughs> so these should take anywhere between, I want to say, five to seven minutes. A lot of the times, just it depends on the temperature you have, your burner, your pan you're using. Um, I definitely encourage all of you guys to try and get a hold of a cast iron. I know that a lot of the times back in the day you used to have to have these uh, handed down to you, which when I saw my mother-in-law's, I really loved it and I was so enamored by it, but it didn't get handed down to me Oh no! or our family. So I had to start um, my own thing. And now, did it, get, did it go to the other daughter-in-law? There is no, I'm the only daughter-in-law. What? Yeah, the Grizzly's brother is not married. Oh, wow. 
so but mm -hmm. um, I'll just continue to wear my cast irons and hopefully a daughter or son-in-law you know whatever my kids decide to fall in love with they can get our cooking heirlooms <laughs> you're so nice <laughs> you know I think about that because you know how we have our conversations about like when we have um, grandbabies yeah when we have grandbabies or like our family and stuff um, when it grows so all right this one's ready yeah my 20 year old said don't count on it mom no grandkids yeah. for me so I'm just putting it on a paper towel and letting it mm. uh, drip there and while I'm taking all of these out I'm gonna go ahead and add another one okay I don't care which of the four kids has kids um, I'm still gonna be an acting grandma. <laughs> well, yeah, if not, I'm gonna have to adopt grandbabies somewhere. I'm sure one of our views club will share their grandbabies with us. Okay, so I'm noticing that this one, I don't want, you don't want to add too much oil. If you notice, I only added about an inch of oil in here. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just gonna make sure that I get that side fried. This is making me think of donuts. And I can't have any. Girl, it smells so good. Anytime you have potato fry anything. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that one's looking beautiful. Yes, you're ready to come out. And I think adding that layer of whether you use uh, breadcrumbs or panko crumbs. I think if you're going to be using uh, breadcrumbs, definitely add the egg to the mix as well. Girl, I've been getting so many beautiful comments on Instagram. About what? But just from all of our friends here. Aww. It's like an extended communication and um, whether it's an agua fresca that you guys are excited about or like your request. Um, for me, it's easier to keep the request here on this channel because if I'm on Instagram, I scroll just like you guys really fast. And then I'm like, oops, I forgot. I didn't write it down. I keep track of them in the comments. Do you? On here, right? Yep. On yeah. YouTube. I appreciate your help, sis. You got it. Okay. Patty cake it. Drop it in gently. Be careful. All right. So I'm going to continue to cook these guys. And I'll see you guys shortly for a tasting. We will be tasting these delicious potato cakes and cutting into them. Okay. If you guys are going to have a whole production that takes a really long time for you guys to do these, or you're making them in advance for your kids, make sure you put your oven at 175 degrees place them in there and they're going to stay nice and crisp. But if you put them in there soggy on the outside, they're not going to crisp up. And that's what I have to say. I'm ready to give this a taste. Need a little bit of my guacamaya. I'm holding it mm, closer mm, because mm. I love you and that potato packing. Girl, look that. It's beautiful. Here you go. Thank you. Again. <laughs> Just so you guys know, it's safe. It's turkey bacon. Mmm. I can eat about well. I can eat about ten of these. Ooh. You threw yourself, girl. You outdid yourself. O sea que me vente. That's right. Mmm. I can see that. Stewy. Mmm, brought to you by the letter M. Mmm, Cloud's on it again. <laughs> this is delicious. She's gonna start dancing and you're gonna see on the backsplash. I mean, magnificent. No, I dance now, I align with your body and then I dance so they don't see me. Oh, really? Girl, mm. don't make me do my shy girl shimmy. Mmm. Maybe next time I'll show you guys my shy girl shimmy. You know who's really gonna love these, baby? You know who's gonna really love these? Mm. Bayo. 
Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> he loves pepperoni. He loves pizza concept things. And I guess this is kind of pizza. But you know how I miss cooking a lot of proteins, but he's gonna mm -hmm. love this one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys, this is amazing. When you guys try the recipe, please come back and let me know. And I have a few errands to run right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in little pockets so that the boys can eat it while they're in the car when we're getting our errands done. But I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please make sure uh, to check your notifications, see if they're working. Also, if you like the recipes and our, our conversations, okay? Cause that's a hit or miss for some people. But if you like the way we give a recipe, make sure to subscribe. Yeah? Oh, and we do have another channel. As I mentioned, it's called Las Doñas. Look in the description and you can click right over to our channel. So on that one, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!